Basically guys, I'm getting married in August. Mm -hmm. That is literally two months away. Hello guys, it is currently the 30th of May and where are we heading to girls? Dress, dress shopping! We're going wedding dress shopping, which is kind of crazy, right? So we're going to this bridal shop that works with the dress company and we're going to try on some dresses. I'm not sure if my dress is actually going to be there because they need to import it to me. So we're just going to go try some different dresses, get the vibe because we've not actually done any wedding dress shopping. And this is, is like... Crazy. The one day that I've been like looking forward to. Yeah, she had more than me, genuinely. Because <laughs> yeah. this is like that movie moment. moment. And I was just gonna say that as well. So funny, last night she was like, Can I try on some dresses? <laughs> Manifest. Manifest. <laughs> we'll see you guys there. Here it is, guys. Ava Rose Hamilton. Good thing you already have your dress. Yeah, unless I see something that I really like, then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fine. I feel like I need to start thinking about what I want. <laughs> already. <laughs> Imagine having your wedding dress picked out. Oh my you know some people actually have their dress picked out like so in advance. Oh this is this is fabulous. So what style do you wear? I don't know, but like I hate that I like love this kind of stuff. <gasps> There's just so many dresses. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed, guys. Also very excited, but I feel like because my life has been so busy, I've not like deeped that this is what I'm doing. This has been booked in for like the past two weeks and I've just not even absorbed any of it. But here we are. I lost them. I lost you guys. Wow. I still about to cry right now. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be a bride, but I've not really deep this at all. Wow. Look how beautiful. Are you excited? Are you excited? How excited are you on a scale of here to here? <laughs> in the movies it's so fast paced and the dresses just come on but why are you stealing what I said? how is that what you said? that's literally what I just said no you said they don't show this part in the movies Ooh, he's a princess <laughs> probably like fitted as well yeah I love the back like this part of it yeah. Look at how um, the lace is invisible. There's lace like all the way over here. Oh, yeah. Nice. And you can only tell here because we've pinched yeah. this together. Otherwise, it goes all the way up here and it's like invisible. <laughs> the next dress that's coming, I think, is going to be the dress. <gasps> she doesn't know. I like the first one. But that's the only one you've seen on. I feel like the second one that's coming is more like. Yes! <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh my god. You look like a princess. I want to see something. Oh, I love this one. My goodness. I told you this one was gonna be. I really do love this one. I look like a princess. <laughs> I look like a princess. I feel like a princess. Got wow, a train. That is so dramatic. Yeah. That looks stunning from the back. Oh, cute. But I feel like I like this one more from the back than I do from, from the front. I'm not sure what it is about this one that I'm not like loving. So, what are your final verdicts? Second one was definitely beautiful. And she yeah. just looked like a princess. Because she's got a really good shape to her. I just thought that's what she should be wearing. But it's very similar to her engagement dress as well. Oh, in terms of the shape, like it's, yeah, 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 that's true, that's true, that's true. I like the second one. I think that's where my heart is. Wow, this was exhausting. We only tried on three dresses. Absolutely Can you imagine? exhausted. Don't have the patience for anymore. Can you imagine her wearing it in Kurdistan though? 
it's gonna be hot yeah but we'll be as acid hello honey pies today is a new day so i'm just trying to get some good lighting just quickly did my makeup did a little get ready with me on tiktok and today we are heading to a nas cosmetics event we're going for lunch i don't know why i had two boiled eggs this morning for breakfast because i don't really usually eat lunch so i shouldn't have had breakfast really but here we are maybe i'll just nibble a little bit i am trying to be better with my diet anyway before we go on the girls holiday the reason i'm speaking so fast and i'm so out of breath is because you guessed it i'm running late well i'm not running late yet but after this vlog i might be running late so i'm trying to just get it done as quick as possible but yeah we're gonna go to australasia Austral we're going to this cute little place called australasia it's in deansgate manchester australasia. australasia we're going to this place called australasia <laughs> It's not Australasia. <laughs> okay, listen guys, I've tried to do this like five times now, but we're going to this place. It's called Australasia, I think. I don't know how you pronounce it and I'll I'm try. sick. It's right? Okay, we're gonna go with that. It's in Deansgate, it's really cute. I've actually never been. It's so nice to be taking place in Manchester and not in London. I'm actually in London tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! I'm so sick of doing that train ride. But anyway, let's get going. Look who I've got here. Rain it's Ryder. I was just like gonna look at this little map here and then she's like, healing. And I was like, oh my God, it's a mom. The guardian angel. Mm -hmm. My hair looks <laughs> disgusting, oh my God. It does It's just the wind. Yeah, it's very windy, but it's like, it's not cold, but it's... I'm glad that we'll be sat inside because otherwise I'm just gonna be like this all day. <laughs> So weird and orange in here but it looks it looks good like this but when i move it gets weird but anyway little outfit check me it's the bag giving very classy very very cute we are back home now and i've got the most lovely messy oh my laptop is taking off my room is so messy guys and there's a lot to unpack there's a lot of things to put in specific places my makeup is just a mess let's not even talk about that but i have so much clean laundry all of this is clean laundry and i need to put it all away i also low-key feel really guilty for not going to the gym for the past few days will my laptop shut up come on please babe i feel very guilty about not going to the gym for the past few days i just feel very bloated and i've been having so much bread and butter so much bread and butter in france that i'm like i know i've gained some calories there and i've just not been eating clean i was on a really good eating clean going to the gym consistently and doing like my cardio and doing my weightlifting that's just gone out of the window and i'm going on holiday with the girls in less than like three weeks how am i gonna snap this back i do not know and i'm just like out doing things it's like girl just stay home deal with your life and then go and do these things but anyway i'm in london tomorrow for pilates well at least that's like exercise um and i do love pilates it makes me feel so good you know what even if i don't go to the gym i might just do some like pilates at home or something like that going to do pilates with drunk elephant i need to take this makeup off that's what i need to do i need to take this makeup off i need to clean my room i guess i will let you guys know if i end up going to the gym or not it probably most likely won't happen <laughs> Ooh, 
Good morning guys. Oh, this coffee is very hot. Good morning guys. Thought it would be nice to do a little bit of a sit down and talk with you guys. I feel like this entire vlog has been very go, go, go and not like a lot of just talking and life updates and there's so much that I need to update you guys about. I was having a little bit little teeny little bit of a crisis this morning basically guys i'm getting married in august mm -hmm. that is literally two months away i was kind of debating whether i should just like come out with it in august and kind of like surprise you guys i guess like i did with the engagement but then i was like you know what i don't think i could even keep this from you guys like why not just bring you guys actually along for the journey i feel like it's more real as well and you get to see like what i'm actually going through as i'm preparing for the wedding so we're actually doing the wedding in kurdistan and that was the decision that we made very early on we both knew that we wanted to do it in kurdistan when i say both like me and ahmed also guys another thing that's very weird basically right so my fiance he's called ahmed but it's also pronounced ahmed and i call him both because when i first met him his friends here called him ahmed so that's kind of what i would call him but obviously back home and like with his og friends and family they call him ahmed so i call him both so if you hear me call him ahmed you hear me call him ahmed then just roll with it okay whatever you guys want to call him feel free to call him that the reason that me and ahmed want to do it in kurdistan is obviously because one his whole family is there his parents are there they live there his brothers i have an insane amount of family in kurdistan and it's just kind of like it would be sad to not have those people that are so close to me at my wedding and honestly guys if i'm gonna keep it real with you i would much rather do my wedding in kurdistan just purely because the venues of the food it's actually it was more difficult to plan the engagement party here in the uk than it would be to plan a wedding in two months for kurdistan the reason that i say that is i had no idea that almost all of the venues here don't allow you to actually outsource food and then the in-house food is mainly obviously like english food kurdish people by such a minority so there's not really going to be a venue that's going to be like yeah this is a great venue and also provides kurdish food because obviously all our guests are kurdish so anyway in kurdistan there are so many beautiful venues we actually already have the venue Ooh, i'm so excited guys because i was kind of worried there for a second i'm not gonna lie to you there was this one venue that was stunning and you know what they did they've put a blue carpet on the floor like i'm still mad about it guys who ruins a beautiful venue which had like Oh my god, the most gorgeous walls and chandeliers and then put some blue carpet on the floor. We have the venue and it's beautiful and it's stunning and I'm so excited to talk with the design team and talk about what we want to do for that. I don't even know how I'm going to like even decide because I'm very indecisive as a person, which we'll definitely get into more later, which is the reason why I'm stressing this morning. And bless her heart, my mother-in-law is helping me out so much. Like she's kind of just taking the reins when it comes to the wedding in Kurdistan because I'm obviously not there and I don't really know where to even start looking. I've not even taken a sip of this coffee. So Ahmed, as you guys know, is Kurdish. He's Kurdish, but we're actually from different cities in Kurdistan. I'm from Duhu, which is more of like a little city village kind of thing. Like Hawlid is where he's from, and that is the capital of Kurdistan. We actually decided to have the wedding in his city, in Hawlid, um, mainly just because the venues are better, um, better access for people, etc. But yes, yeah, so I wouldn't really know anything about going about finding like venues or photographers or whatever. Like I was really stressed out about the engagement planning because I planned that my Self, like completely entirely myself i know the timeline is quite quick but we plan to do the engagement much earlier in the year yeah life is coming at me very fast that's why i was telling you guys like i've never been more stressed out or more busy in my life than i have right now like literally like me sitting down with you guys today and talking this is me like chilling as well like i it's been very full on for me everyday event and this and this and go to this and do this and i've really not just like been, been at home and i'm a homebody guys like i'm the type of person that would just wants to sit inside my home have some like good food and snacks and like watch netflix all day watch movies like that's literally my idea of heaven to be so busy is really nice and obviously having all these experiences like i said such a blessing but i just want to like like rest a little bit and just be chill and just yeah it's just not really gonna happen for me is it because i've got a wedding in two months and some other crazy things happening which i'm not gonna reveal to you guys yet just because i want to like bring you along the journey it's more fun that way so stay tuned i am really excited though because i'm a person that really grows in change i hate just being stationary in life like i want to just constantly have new experiences and be in 
a zone that isn't comfortable for me so I can just I don't know like I feel like that's the only way you really grow is when you do things that originally make you feel uncomfortable okay let's take it back to this morning I've been wedding dress shopping for like literally half a year like it's kind of difficult because in the UK the wedding dresses are one very revealing and two they're very chill not in a bad way like i think that fits uk weddings Kurdish weddings like we go a bit more extra turkish weddings etc like arabic weddings like everything's a lot more extra so it's hard to source that kind of stuff in the uk and then i was really worried that i wouldn't find something that i really love with all my heart and then i found this one dress i found this one dress and it was just beautiful gorgeous i was like she is the one and she was the one for me for months and months and months for literally half a year up until two days ago i think i've lost my mind and the reason that i changed my mind guys you know when we went and tried on those wedding dresses a few days ago i tried on that puffy one and oh my god guys i just felt like a princess like i just felt like such a princess and i was like i deserve to feel like a princess on my wedding day like first dress that i fell in love with was kind of like my engagement dress where it's kind of like slim and then you have like the train that is detachable so you do have like that kind of puffiness you know like how basically literally what my engagement dress was like and i feel like i did that for the engagement and i wasn't planning on wearing that dress for my engagement like i had my wedding dress down before i had my engagement dress down now that i did that i was kind of like well i've kind of already done that do you know what i mean like what's the point in doing that again but also i didn't realize how much i would love to be in this like princess dress and like when in my life am i ever gonna wear a dress like that ever again like there's never gonna be an instance that i'm gonna wear a dress like that and i just want that moment so then i'm like okay i saw this other dress and i was like stunning stunning she's she's the new one tell me why i go back onto the wedding dress like instagram page and i was looking and i saw this one girl wearing the dress and in the nicest way possible like genuinely the nicest way possible i just didn't like how it looked on her and it's not about her it's about okay when this dress isn't on some model and it's on a real human am i going to like it it's quite a different dress it's not your traditional dress so I'm like, am I making the wrong choice? Should I go for something more timeless? And I just full on had a panic attack this morning. <laughs> so I've spent past two hours this morning scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and searching, just trying to find a different wedding dress. Two months to get a wedding dress is not a long time. I was literally texting Ahmed this morning, like I literally texted him saying, I'm really freaking out and I need you to chill me out and then he facetimes me and he was trying to chill me out this morning and tell me to just relax and I'm overthinking things and what he said is true I'm never going to find the perfect dress do you know what I mean like there's always going to be something that I would want to change so I'm just trying to like not overthink I try to <laughs> guys I try to photoshop my face onto the picture with a dress and i sent it to the girls group chat like so are we sure that i'm just gonna stick with this one and they were dying at the fact that i actually photoshopped my face onto there i think today i just need to have a chill day but like not just a chill day where you just sit around and do literally nothing and feel like a potato i need to kind of get my life together but in a very chill way i need to go to the gym that's what i need to do i need to go to the gym so badly i've not been to the gym i think in like two weeks and for me that is a very long time and i really want to vlog it but it just gets so awkward sometimes guys i'll keep it real for you guys i'm gonna go do legs but i might go up afterwards and do some like pilates ab workouts yeah maybe we should do that then maybe i could get a little bit of recording for you guys in as well i'm gonna finish my cup of coffee try to relax a little bit this morning most definitely look at more wedding dresses <laughs> and i'll see you guys at the gym bye bye Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play a favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone
So I popped into Sainsbury's after I went to the gym. That was a really good workout, I'm not even gonna lie to you. The first workout back to the gym, like when you've not been for a while, is usually really difficult to get through and you can't really do the same weights as you used to do because you just don't have the same strength. Like the gym is genuinely like that if you slack. It's, you just lose the gains, it's crazy. But it was actually pretty good and I really enjoyed that workout and I would, I would have stayed for longer had I not had things to do today. Anyway, thought we'd do a little haul because grocery shopping is one of my favorite things to do and my favorite hauls to do. I've literally got three minutes of recording time left, so I'm gonna try bang this out as quick as possible. I don't actually think this is quinoa. I went in to get quinoa, but it's this Spanish style grains and rice, and it's so high in fiber and in protein, but very low in calorie. And I'm gonna have that with salmon today. On mornings right now, I just have two of these thins the wheat version because they're higher in fiber. I have two boiled eggs with lighter than light mayo, which you guys might think I'm disgusting for, but mind your business. Also got some broccoli. Um, broccoli is super high in fiber. So I'm gonna have that today with the salmon. So basically guys, today, oh, I'm basically intermittent fasting. So I eat between 11 and seven and then I don't eat anything after or before that. High fiber, high protein and low calorie and carb. It's kind of the diet at the moment, but to get back in the gym and just feel the best that I can feel. I think this might literally run out any second now. Um, I feel like this vlog was quite a bit different to my two previous ones because this is more of like just a normal week in my life kind of thing. It's not really like going somewhere or something big happening. And I'm running out of time. So stay tuned for the next vlog guys. I'm gonna bring you guys on the journey with me all the way up until I don't know maybe until I die <laughs> So <laughs> Bye